Welcome to another Tank Chair Adventures, everybody. Today I'm going to show you some of the setups that I use. This is the hammer bomb I'm using first here. Uh, kind of a bad angle. I'm going to start with a, a different angle on my next video, but uh, I'm going to try to do the best I can here for you so you can see um, how I use these setups. So right now I cast it out. I let it sink down 20 or 30 seconds. It's kind of a long 20 or 30 seconds here in between. You got to kind of let it get down. It's a neutral buoyant, uh, hard resin. Um, almost looks like a casting bobber, but it's hard, solid uh, resin. And so as it's going down, just waiting, and then once I feel like it's in the right strike zone area, I just start giving it some short jerks while I'm reeling it at the same time. Sometimes I'll give it a pause just to let the fish see it and look at it and get angry at it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this technique works really well out at the jetty. You get hardly any snags at all um, because of its size. It goes through the rocks really easy. And uh, also it keeps up off the rocks if you use a light enough hammer bomb out there. So here you just keep giving it some short jerks and boom they pick it up just like that when they hit it just make sure to keep your rod high and uh, just keep reeling keep them out of the rocks and keep them off of the barnacles they'll try to get you into those rocks and barnacles and tangle you up but uh, yeah this uh, this method works really well out here at the jetty in Humboldt Bay and it catches quality fish it catches small fish too but it catches some pretty quality fish um, here I'm just using a regular three inch uh, grub. I think it's the Charlie Brewer slider um, in the white and chartreuse. That's a nice little rockfish. You get a couple tacos off of that. And the reason why I'm doing a voiceover in this video is my microphone uh, didn't work out for me this trip. So I'm doing a voiceover for you guys. But um, here again, I'll show you. I'm just giving it some short jerks back while I'm reeling slowly. I'm using a five to one, one gear ratio casting rod. I believe it's a Shimano, an older Shimano Corrado. Um, yeah, and you just kind of keep a steady pace. If you start to feel like it's starting to um, have less, less resistance, um, let it drop back down for a couple seconds and then start bringing it back in the same way, a couple, you know, small jerks while you're reeling. And uh, they'll pick it up. I think that hammer bomb works kind of as a flasher with the color that I'm using. It's a, a glow color, it's a fluorescent green color. It actually glows in the dark too, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's, it goes pretty deep out there, so it might show up better underwater. And then behind it, you have your trailer, your little grub. And I believe those rockfish are just, they see that, that hammer bomb first go by their face. And then they see that little grub and they just go after it and they eat it. So here's another catch of another quality fish on the hammer bomb. Yeah, so... Go out and get yourself some hammer bombs. Try them out. I'll put the uh, link in the description for you guys um, to get some of these where you can get them. And again, I like using the one ounce. That's another nice quality fish. Just using that little three inch Charlie Brewer slider grub. And there you can see again, I just short small jerks as you're reeling. So you want to keep reeling while you're giving short jerks and uh, you'll feel the resistance on the hammer bomb as you're pulling it through the water and you'll get the cadence that you need that catches fish. But uh, yeah, there's another fish with the hammer bomb. It works. I'm not just trying to sell you guys junk. Um, this is all one day's fishing in about two and a half, three hours worth. So, another nice fish. <clears throat> so cast it out, 
let it sink let it sink right here and then give it short jerks as you reel it back and again 20 or 30 second count depending on the tide you don't want too heavy of a tide only two to three foot swing four foot max if you know what I'm talking about that means how much the tide comes in and goes out at what rate and how many feet um, anything over four feet between so if the tides five feet and it's dropping down to three feet that's a two foot uh, exchange there and so two to three feet is perfect so if it's going from two or three feet to five or six feet that's a two to three foot swing and that's perfect for fishing out there um, I've found I've caught more fish so I try to look for those type of days where the tide is exactly three two to three no more than four because five to six feet it starts really ripping and it's it's hard to control your baits and you get you get snagged up using the other methods that I use out there so I, I just don't like wasting my time and the hammer bombs don't go down as easy especially the one ounce and uh, I've just found that the one ounce seems to work really good out there um, so yeah try to get this set up if you can I'm using a 20 pound braid you could probably use 30 because um, the rocks are a little rough out there there's another quality fish caught a lot of quality fish that day um, 20 so 20 pound braid to the hammer bomb and then from the hammer bomb I have 17 pound 17 pound fluorocarbon to a size 2 hook to a 3 inch grub um, just a little 3 inch slider it's called the original slider from Charlie Brewer and uh, yeah here's another quality fish um, pretty soon here I'm gonna show you guys the other setup and how to fish that but uh, enjoy the rest of this part of the video using the hammer bombs and I'll do another voiceover for the next part of uh, the drop shot method So here's the drop shot method that I'm uh, always ranting and raving about. It always shines really well out there. Um, so this is with the uh, half ounce uh, coil lead that I unravel and I clip off about three inches. I show that in my other video. I'll, I'll put that up at the top of the screen at the end that you can click on or look at it, look for it in my other videos. Um, it's called three three setups for jetty fishing. Um, so it's a it's basically a, a pencil pencil lead that's uh, about three inches that I pound and I put a nail hole through the top so you could tie your line directly to that and use it as a uh, drop shot weight and that's tied to um, 70 17 pound test fluorocarbon and uh, to a looper you, you have a looper knot and then a size two hook and your little three inch grub and uh, so you cast that out it's kind of the same method you cast this out except this one you want it to get all the way down to the bottom you'll see your line go slack so hold your line tight after you cast it out let it go down to the bottom then you'll see your line go slack and then um, just keep your line tight and and keep your line tight and reel it in and as you're reeling it in um, you'll you'll start to feel rocks and uh, once you start hitting those rocks stop stop your bait but keep a tight line 
and give your give your line a couple shakes so that that little swim bait down there is shaking around a little bit and then just stop but keep your line tight because sometimes after you stop shaking it or you rip it up over a rock the the fish will hit it and you need to have your line tight to feel that otherwise you'll think you're just caught up on seaweed or another barnacle or something so that's one way to really feel those bites is to keep your line tight and uh, if you do get stuck on a barnacle and you rip it up off the barnacle keep your line tight and don't just reel it in let it sink back down to the bottom and hold your line tight and give it a couple shakes and then stop and then uh, usually a fish will hit it like more times than not I've had a fish come up and hit it right off getting it off the barnacle or getting it off the rock um, so just try to feel for those bites keep your line tight and then once you do get a bite you set the hook on that thing and keep your keep your rod high try to keep your rod high and keep the fish out of the rocks because they'll get you in those rocks and into the barnacles and they'll try to cut you off anyways I hope all this information helps you guys and girls and uh, I hope you guys get out there and have tight lines and catch a bunch of fish and uh, I'll be making another video of day two and day three here so keep your eyes open for that all right well thanks again for coming out to tank chair adventures and I'll hopefully see you out on the water sometime <laughs>